Hello and welcome to another video. As usual, my name is Jeffrey. This is the Inquisitive Universe and you are very welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we want to compare two SOCs, two very popular SOCs that are making the waves right now. Now, I have actually tried different metrics for doing this video. And this is actually like my fifth try. I want you to know that. Now, because personally for me, when I do these videos, I want to explain as much as I can, as much as possible. But most of the time, the videos end up reaching 18, 20 minutes and I don't really want to bore anybody so i'm just going to go straight into the details the need to know the most important stuff and then keep it like that if you need further explanation i've already written an article on this one i also have you can meet you can reach me in the comments or you can reach me on telegram or on messenger and they will discuss further but like this is a youtube video so i want to as very much as possible keep it within 10 15 minutes maximum 10 minutes optimal 15 minutes maximum so let's get started now the two articles we're going to be comparing right now are the diamond city 6080 and the snapdragon 685 Diamond City 6080, Snapdragon 685. Now, both of these are lower midrange SOCs. If you need to know what lower midrange SOCs are, I've already done other videos on the channel, but I also explained that like when you are classifying smartphone SOCs, you've got flagship upper hand, uh, uh, entry level, bottom, and then you've got like the midrange, the middle class, somewhere in between the top and the bottom. And that's where you find these two SOCs. Now, they are actually at the bottom, lower midrange, closer to the entry level side of things. So these two SOCs are very popular, especially the Snapdragon 685, which comes from the older Snapdragon 680, and then the Dimensity 6080 is a reworked version of an older Dimensity SOC. Now, a lot of manufacturers are deciding to stick with the Snapdragon 685, whilst many people are choosing to go with the Snapdragon Dimensity 6080. So, which one is the better one? So, in this video, we are going to be comparing, uh, we're going to compare using performance, which uh, we'll talk about CPU, uh, GPU, and then maybe we'll look at some benchmark tests, and then we'll talk about like uh, multitasking talk about multitasking as well then we'll move on and then we'll talk about a, a bit about camera performance and then you know round up with connectivity and then finally possible battery life so let's get started now for cpus that's when we talk about performance we're mostly talking about cpus now when it comes to cpu the dimensity 6080 has the better cpus there's really no question it's got two cortex a76 cpus once upon a time cortex a76 cpus were considered flagship quality but this is 2024 and we've got better stuff so a76 uh, cpu cores are now considered basically mid-range lower mid-range even the 685 actually has cortex a73 now a73 are from way back way back 2016 2017 they are old now so the the cortex a73 cpus on the snapdragon 685 are actually clocked to their max but it's not really good enough to offset the performance boost or the performance gap that the a76 cpus gives them so uh both of uh, if, if you go to the little calls i really don't want to explain all that i actually have an article i would you know, like encourage you to go check that out the 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 a55s on the dimensity 6080 are the same story better than the a53s on the snapdragon 685 the dimensity 6080 has cortex a76 and cortex a55 cpu cores which will perform better than those or the the a73 and the a53 um, on the um on the snapdragon 685 yeah i'm getting my tongue twisted here so let's move on now that we know that the dimensity 60 uh dimensity 680 has better performance than the uh, snapdragon 685 let's look at the gpus and it's the same story the mali g57 mp2 gpu on the dimensity 6080 is actually a lot more powerful than the adreno 610 that you'd find on the snapdragon 685 so it's a bit of a mismatch here because both on the cpu side and the gpu side of things the dimensity 6080 is actually a lot better than what you get on the snapdragon 685 that's not to take away from the 685 the 685 actually boasts very decent performance and enjoys a lot of optimization but when it comes to just raw performance there is actually no question there is, you can't really you can't really argue it now let's check out benchmarks and then let's see what happens there if you go check the benchmarks you see that the dimensity 6080 is scoring around 420k on antutu scoring around 420k whilst the standard 685 can only manage 340k thereabouts you know the 
top scores are always changing then if you go check geekbench for example geekbench is posting 2077 for multi-core scores for dimensity 6080 whilst the snapdragon 685 can only manage 1500 and something thereabouts so what this means when we talk about performance what this means is that the dimensity 6080 is going to perform better when running apps when playing games when generally doing stuff right that you know any stuff that you want to do with your smartphone you will notice that the dimensity 6080 is noticeably faster and it will run for longer you get whilst the snapdragon 685 can do those things not that it cannot but it's going to be some way behind you know behind the dimensity 6080 685 is good but it's going to be some way behind the dimensity 6080 so that's that for performance let's move on let's talk about the next section let's talk about multitasking now multitasking refers to the ability of your smartphone to be able to open and then you know switch between several different apps at the same time you have all the different apps open in the back and then you're just switching through all of them now a lot of this is not yes the the hardware the soc has its part to play but please take note that a lot of this is usually down to the software of the smartphone some smartphone companies like you know when it comes to multitasking they as soon as you leave an app they kill it so most of the a lot of in fact dare i say 60 percent of this is down to the software used by the company that you choose to buy from whilst the remaining 40 percent is due to the hardware you've got on board so just keep that in mind now both of these two sources use the same lpddr4x ram right with the same clock speed of 2133 megahertz right so keep that in mind both of them are actually tied on this one so what we separate them now is the individual company that you choose to go and buy their product so i'm not going to say anything here beyond that let's move on the video is already going let's move on let's talk about storage now both of these SOC support the same ufs 2.2 storage so again basically a tie here so then after that we now talk about like multimedia when you say multimedia we'll talk about cameras for photos uh display that they can support that they can drive and it's basically a tie here it's the same thing um both of them support cameras of 108 megapixels they support um they will record video at 1080p 60 fps and also played back at the same speed and then both of them will support f hg that's 1080p full high definition displays mostly at 90 to 120 hertz depending when it comes to uh, multitasking when it comes to camera performance they are mostly tied now here is the kicker for most mid-range socs mediatek the maker of the dimensity 6080 doesn't really care too much doesn't really care too much about camera performance for its lower end socs so you may end up seeing here that the snapdragon 685 may boost camera performance but again a lot of this one is not necessarily the hard it also depends on the software on board so these are some of the interplay of this stuff that you should keep in mind but let's talk about connectivity and for this one there is absolutely no question who is runner who is running away with this one here the dimensity 6080 supports uh 4g cat 18 like it's really really fast it's got really fast 4g that's what you need to know the snapdragon 685 on the other hand uh has 4g cat 13 so that's actually um very very it's 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 okay it's not that good it's okay the dimension 6080 cat 18 is actually really really good and then when it comes to the latest 5g dimension 6080 supports 5g the 685 does not support 5g which is actually quite sad there's really um nothing you can do about that so if you want 5g connection you're going to need to go with the 6080 if you want 5g connection but if you're okay uh, you can stick with the uh, uh snapdragon 685 depending on you then uh both of them are tied for wi-fi they both support wi-fi 5 but the snapdragon 685 supports a slightly better bluetooth 5.2 over the 5.1 that is supported by the diamond city 6080 so let's look at possible battery life and it's mostly a tie because both of them are made on a six nanometer process from tsmc however the dimensity 6080 has more powerful cpu cores and that would mostly consume a lot more battery than the a73 and the a53 on the snapdragon 685 so which means that the snapdragon 685 should marginally have the better battery life depending again on which manufacturer you choose to buy from and how optimized their software is so you may want to keep all of this stuff 
in mind so yeah with that let's round up so when it comes to performance uh cpu gpu it goes to the dimensity 6080 they are both tied when it comes to multitasking they are both mostly tied when it comes to camera performance camera videos and displays but again that one is mostly nuanced i'm going to leave it as a tie because beauty is in the eye of the beholder you know it's mostly cameras cameras videos displays it's mostly nuanced so i'm going to leave that one as a tie so uh performance cpu gpu gaming Dimensity 6080, uh, multitasking is a tie, cameras, videos, pictures, it's a tie, and then uh, connectivity, absolutely Dimensity 6080, Dimensity 6080 has much better connectivity compared to the Snapdragon 685, and then battery life should go to the Snapdragon 685, but only just, and it's going to also depend on which manufacturer you choose to buy from. So with that, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you very much for coming. So which SOC do you prefer? Do you, are you, you want performance or are you just okay with having a regular SOC that, you know, will just get you through the day or you're looking for the better performance and the better connectivity of the Dimensity 6080? Personally, for me, despite the fact that I actually have a Snapdragon bias, if you put me here in this one, because I know most people are going to ask me, Jeffrey, which one are you going to choose? I am going to go with the Dimensity 6080 because it's got faster connection and it's got more performance because I'm actually all about performance. It's got faster connection, better performance, and it's actually on par with the Snapdragon 6. All right, so I lost power and there's really nothing I can do about that. Actually, I have decent lighting solution, so I hope this works, right? So people are going to ask me, Jeff, between these two SOCs, which one are you going to choose? And like I said before, I lost power. I am actually going to stick with the Dimensity 6080. That's what I'm going to go with because it's got better CPU performance, better GPU performance, better gaming, and it's got better connectivity. But that's just my choice in case people ask me because they always do. If you're going to ask me, that's going to be my choice because it's actually the better soc here for me but if you prefer snapdragon the snapdragon 685 then like this is how it compares to the dimensity 6080 so you know what you are getting compared to the dimensity 6080 and this video is mostly for people who are stuck between the dimensity 6080 and the snapdragon 685 and do not really have a bias and haven't really made their mind up so i hope this helps you in your quest for your next phone my name is jeffrey once more please make sure to like subscribe and share please nepa has done this one to me so help me out here guys and that's how small channels like my group i'll see you in the next one cheers and bye bye